Hi everyone, I wanted to make a reverse foot rigging tutorial. It's based off a number of tutorials I've seen on the internet, but um, <coughs> they're mostly missing some stuff and I wanted to add in a few features of, uh, that I've kind of collected over the years. So let's get going here. I'll go to a side view and hit wireframe and go to create systems bone. Before I create any bones, I'm going to set my default size um, to a size that's going to be useful to me and then every bone I make is going to be that size so that's good double click up here get the whole chain and I can delete it okay so uh, a leg chain is going to be if I start in the front view it can be a hip to trochanter to knee to foot system like that and let's delimit to bones here or you can just immediately begin with the trochanter, knee, ankle, ball, toe, and end effector. And then later, once you move this into place, we can go bones like that. I'll delete the end effector, select, oops, select this guy, and just eyeball it roughly and then this trochanter becomes a child to the hip so now that we have a full bone chain I can double click on that and it gets the whole thing and we have a hip femur fibia tibia foot toe and end effector okay uh, let's clean this up. I need to go into my animation bone tools and turn on bone edit mode to kind of modify these positions. Okay, so let's adjust that back. Let's adjust this up where the malleolus of the ankle is. Let's adjust this to where the bend of the foot should occur. And this is poking right out the end of the geometry. That's pretty good. That's what I want. Now, what about the front view? Let's see how we're doing there. We've got the hip. Let's get this trochanter further out. And then let's get this knee inbound there. And we got to align the ankle. I'm going to select this bone, turn boat edit mode off, make sure I'm in local. And let's rotate these around so I know the orientations don't get screwed up. Super important, don't ever screw up your orientations because your animations will, <coughs> will reflect that. You want, you want the orientation of each bone to, be, to behave the way you want them to. So if I grab this foot bone here, that's exactly how the thing needs to bend. Let's grab the knee and see how that's doing, because that's probably going to be a problem. It looks like it's coming right out the back of the leg the way it should, so that's pretty good. And then, what's the orientation like? You can see it needs to be adjusted like that. It, and by moving this in bone, meta, bone edit mode off, everything downstream changed as well. So I could undo that, turn bone edit mode on, and then change that orientation, and that helps. Okay, so I I'm fairly confident I got that dialed in. Definitely want to get this straightened out before you proceed any further. Now, when you rig a pair of legs, it's a little bit more work if your feet are not parallel. I've got them slightly outboard a little bit. And it's a lot easier to rig a foot system, a, a reverse foot system, if the legs are, if the feet are parallel. So I know this is fairly common, and this is kind of one of the things I wanted to grow upon. So we need to make sure our orientations of our bones reflect the geometry that we've modeled. And we need to just really carefully look at that, look at the longitudinal orientation of the orientation, see if it's working. Okay, I like that. I'm good to go. I'm going to open up my manage layers. And I've got all this geometry on a geo layer here and I can just hide it. 
and I'll turn off the grid so we don't have to look at that. Okay, so go to a side view, zoom in, and let's create the IK for the femur. We go IK to the foot, and we go foot IK to the toes, and then the toes to the end effector. And you can see those little plus signs. That's the IK chain. Right. Turn the geo back on, go to a side view, and now we want to make the reverse element of our reverse foot rig. I'm going to double click on this bone chain and freeze it. And now let's go create bones. I'm going to click somewhere in this heel. I'm in my left view. Click here. I'm going to click right on top of that IK handle, right here, um, here, and, 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 and stop. If I turn off the geo, it's one, two, three, four bones, and including the end effector. So three with the end effector. But because I have not modeled feet that are parallel, I've got some adjustments I need to do. I need to make sure that this bone chain, this reverse bone chain, is oriented correctly with the forward bone chain I've made. So I'm going to turn off the geometry, hide it, and then scoot this over. And what my ultimate goal is, is to make this joint match up with this IK handle, this joint match up with this IK handle, and that joint with this IK handle. So let's start at the very bottom. I'll move this. And I will grab this bottom one and rotate the whole business over so that it's oriented with the foot. I'll just scoot that. Then I will grab this one and go to bone edit mode scoot that there. You can see it's very close, and that's close enough. And then grab this one, scoot it right on top of that IK handle right here. So needs a vertical adjustment there. Okay, so that's very close. And now the last one. Grab the end effector, scoot it right there, and then how are we doing? Very close. Good enough. Okay, so just to double check, Turn off bone edit mode. We've got this bone chain, and I'll unfreeze that. We've got this bone chain, and we have IK handles. Now we need to make the relationship between the reverse foot bone chain and the forward foot bone chain. We do that like this. We grab this, this IK handle. I've got bones delimited here. We grab this IK handle, and I make that <coughs> a child to this end effector. And then I grab this IK handle, and make that a child to this reverse bone here. And then this one is a child to this reverse bone here. Super important that you get that organized correctly. And to test, we can grab this large foot on the bottom and wiggle it up and down. And it's working. Okay. So let's unhide the geometry. You can see how it's oriented correctly with the geometry I modeled. And eventually it's going to work just fine. Okay. Next step, let's create a control shape. I can use a rectangle or I can make a foot shape. This just gives me a visual cue as to what foot it is. Close that, and then vertices all, and make it smooth. Move that underneath the foot, lower it down. Now I want to grab that bone that reverse foot bone, 
let me delimit to bones here. This one, the one that controls everything, and make that a child. to that control shape. Might help if I hide the geometry. There. So now I can grab the control shape and we're in good shape. Okay, that's the reverse fit bone. The next video I'm going to make is how to create sliders in your viewport to control things such as um, heel tapping, coming up on the toes, and then rolling forward. Those three elements, ball roll, up on toes, and heel tapping are important for the reverse foot rig. Thanks. Keep watching.